Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Campisi and I'm a Recruitment Officer with the University of Toronto Engineering. Today we're going to go through how to complete the applicant timeline and other information sections of the online student profile. The applicant timeline is where you will provide an outline of your educational history from the beginning of high school up until you expect to begin university studies. You must account for all time periods except for normal study breaks such as summer or holiday breaks. The timeline will initially be pre-populated with the institutional history you listed on the Ontario University Application Centre, the University of Toronto International Application, or the University of Toronto Internal Application. If any of the information is incorrect or you would like to amend it, click on the blue edit button next to the timeline item. To add a new institution or account for any periods spent outside of an educational institution that were not a regularly scheduled study break, click on the blue add timeline item button. This will open a dialog box where you can enter the type of institution or activity, a name or descriptive title, and the date range that it covers. If the activity was spent at a post-secondary institution, you can use the description box to let us know what program you were studying and its length. Do not add extracurricular activities in this section. Those activities will be captured in the extracurricular activities section of the online student profile. The next tab over is other information. In this section, you must report test scores for standardized tests that you have taken or will be taking. When completing your application, you will be, you will be expected to arrange to have the test scores sent to us. You can also add any special circumstances that you think the committee should be aware of when assessing your application. Please note that once you submit this section, you cannot make any edits. If you have medical or other serious circumstances, you can upload documentation using the document upload feature, which is on a separate tab of the portal. That covers the applicant timeline and other information sections of the engineering applicant portal. We do have videos on how to complete each section, so please check them out if you need help. All the best with your application.